What's up everyone, my name is Tim and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can host and share your video online with Veed and how you can use the comment and transcription options so your friends and colleagues can understand and review your videos with ease. All right, to get started, head over to your browser and type in the URL box v.io forward slash send hyphen video. You can also click on the first link in the description. Now we're on Veed's send a video page and as you can see, you can send a video to a colleague, a friend or a client and you can receive feedback with comments and I'm gonna show you how in a second. But first, let's upload our video. We're gonna click on upload your video, select the video you wanna import and click on open. Now this can take a second depending on the size of the video and the Wi-Fi speed. And now here we are, the video is imported and we can watch the video back on the left. Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Uh, I just wanted to say a quick hi to everyone. Nice one. And on the right, as you can see, you have the comment section and the transcription section. I will go over that in a second. First, I'm gonna show you how you can share your video with your friends or colleagues. Now to share the video, you can use the blue share button below the video. And there are a couple of options you can consider. For instance, you can use the copy link button. If you click on it, you can paste it within an email or iMessage or wherever you like. This means that they can open the video on their desktop or on their phone and they can watch it and comment on it. Or if you take a look below the copy link option, you can directly send the link to the video to a specific email address. You can also head over to the social tab and directly share it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also email. And you can even embed your video on your website if you want to by using this specific code. All right, now as an example, let's say I wanna share my video with a colleague and I'm asking for his feedback. I'm simply gonna send the email directly. So I'm gonna put his email in here, which is my email in this case. And we're gonna click on share. After that, they receive an email with the link to your video so they can watch and review it. Now, if they clicked on the link within the email, they redirect it to your video and they can watch it. Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Uh, I just wanted to And the best part is they can comment on it. As you can see, the comment section is on the right and you can leave a comment on the bottom. And the interesting thing about this one is it's actually timestamp based. This essentially means that if I'm watching the video like this, hope you're all doing well. Today was actually a very And I'm day. clicking on leave a comment here. It's actually stopping and it's actually stopping at that specific time. Uh, let's say I wanna say, hey, this is nice and I'm clicking on send or enter. It's actually showing at this specific part of the video. So let's say you're hovering over the video. You can see my little face there with the comment that I put at that specific timestamp. Now this could be very helpful. For instance, if you want to give feedback to a specific part of the video and the maker or the people who watch the video know exactly what you're talking about. As an example, I'm just going to put a couple of comments all over the video. All right, now I added a couple of comments to the video, as you can see on the right. And a very helpful thing is actually, is that you can sort them. For instance, you can put the newest first, oldest first, or do it by timestamp, which I think is personally very helpful. And again, if you hover over the video and take a look at the timeline, you can actually see the timestamped comments portrayed there. You can hover your mouse over it. And if you click on it, you actually redirect it to that specific part of the video. Now, let's say your colleagues and friends don't understand the language spoken in your video. You can click on the create transcription button under the transcription tab and use Veed's auto transcribing, subtitle and translation tool within Veed's online video editor. So you can create multiple transcriptions of languages they understand. So when people watch your video back, they can easily toggle between the languages within the transcription section. All right, and that's how you easily host your videos, share your videos with your friends and colleagues, use the comment section and transcribe your videos. Again, feel free to try it yourself by clicking on the link in the description. For now, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.